Well, with just little more than a month until Election Day, the race for Minnesota's 8th District congressional seat is heating up. Incumbent Congressman Democrat Rick Nolan and Republican challenger Stuart Mills are no strangers to one another. In a debate that had a few tense moments today, the candidates squared off on many hard-hitting issues facing the state and the nation in Duluth. William C. has some highlights from this morning's debate. Elections are about choices, and we have a choice in front of us. And this choice is who is best fit to represent our values, our ideals, and our priorities in Washington, D.C. At a debate in Duluth earlier this morning, Minnesota Congressman Rick Nolan sparred against his Republican challenger, Stuart Mills. The two do not agree on most of the issues, and the debate began with questions about the economic hardships for iron miners and steel workers in the Iron Range. I'm proud of the fact that uh, mining executives in this uh, region, as well as uh, steel workers, miners, uh, tradesmen, have endorsed my campaign. They say nobody has done more for mining uh, in this entire nation than Rick Nolan. We had 2,000 laid off iron miners before Congressman Nolan started the process of making sure that we had the countervailing tariffs that we needed so we had some breathing room. But that was only one third of what we needed to do. Both candidates for U.S. Congress agreed that young Americans are facing crushing student loan debt upon college graduation. Mills says he'd like colleges to be less expensive, but wants colleges to be more competitive to reduce tuition. Congressman Nolan favors free two- and four-year college programs for all students. Let's take the war in Iraq, $3 trillion. For one of those trillion, we could have graduated every kid in America from vocational or college debt-free. Uh, they have a mountain of student debt. Uh, and they're not quite sure what they got for it other than a piece of paper. Both candidates were asked about the federal minimum wage. Mills argued that a federal minimum wage is unconstitutional, while Congressman Nolan asserted that to understand why he believes it's necessary, you must have perspective. For the minimum wage today to be what it was when I was a kid, it'd have to be like 16, 17 bucks an hour. So why shouldn't we give to today's generation the same blessings, the same benefits that my generation enjoyed? I'm not saying I'm against a state minimum wage. I'm saying I'm against a federal minimum wage because $15 an hour would put a lot of people out of business all over our part of Minnesota. Both the Republican Stuart Mills and the incumbent Representative Nolan concluding by explaining who it is they are fighting for by running for this seat in Congress. I will fight for the people that are stuck in the middle and give them a pathway to get ahead. This is all about your, who you're for. I hope I've made that clear who I'm for, the working men and women of this country. The 8th District race is a rematch of the 2014 campaign, which Nolan won by less than two percentage points. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.